Hey everyone, it's Ophion. Um, it's been a while since I made a video, and this video is not going to be an unboxing video. It's going to be me showing you um, the three fursuits that I currently own. All three of them are partials, or semi-partials, and I don't have feet to go with them. Um, so that's what I'm showing you today. I'm going to be showing you them in the order that I got them. And I'm going to tell you about the makers and everything. So let's get started. The first one I'm going to show you is the first fursuit that I ever bought. Um, her name is Minxy Pup. She is a corgi. Here is her head. She's very pretty. I've had her for probably about two years, a year and a half now. Um, she was first the first fursuit that I bought. She was a pre-made made by Lottie Da who I will put a link in the description to their birth and everything. Um, unfortunately, Minxie's kind of in need of a renovation or a repair. She's kind of got some loose seams and things now. Um, I might be getting her made by um, More For Less. Not sure yet. Still on the fence about that. And I won't be doing it anytime soon. I don't really have the money right now. Um, there's Minxie Pop. I made the little nose ring. Pretty awesome. I think it's awesome. Um, she has paws that are also, they're being remade, or have been made, I'm just waiting for them to get here. They are falling apart a little bit. Um, that's okay, I've used them a lot. They're really well loved. And so I'm making new paws for her. Wow, the camera really doesn't pick up those colors very well. That's like a mint green. Um, and of course she's a corgi, so she's got a little nubbin tail. Very bouncy. It has some kinked fur from getting in the rain, and it just kinked it up, and I wasn't able to fix it. But yes, this is the first first thing I bought, Minxie Cup, made by Lottie Da. I love her to death. Lottie is such a knight. Nice, she's so nice. She's just so nice. And... I don't think she's doing fursuit commissions anymore, or at least not right now. I'm not sure. Um, the second suit I'm going to be showing you, what, the head, it's just the head, um, just the head was made by Demonic Compendium. I will also put a link in the description to their FA. I don't think they're active on FA anymore. Um, I will link you to their Twitter and their website. If, yeah. Um, here's the head. He is Flint Cole, the Camara. He's pretty cool. He seems to be my most popular fursuit right now. People just love him. And he's great. I love wearing him. He's such just he's just an asshole. It's great. Um little horns and everything. Um yep, there he is. Um his tail and hands were made by me. So, they're probably not the best, but she doesn't have pop ads, and he is like a monster, just like a furry monster dude. Um, I need to commission a new tail because I'm not happy with the one that I made. Just because like the fur is kinked up, it was kinked up when I got it, and it just happens that way. But there's his tail, little spikes, this one's kind of falling over for some reason. Um, it's kind of sticks straight out. I love it. It's very bouncy. I need to do some restitching on the elastic that was kind of coming off. Um, and apparently there's a little hole right there. Okay, cool. I'll fix that too. Um, the last suit that I'm showing you is Denari. She was made by, um, wow, I can't believe I just forgot, Interabang. I just completely had a brain fart. She's the newest seat that I own, and I have not had a chance to wear her to a meet yet. However, this weekend, I am going to be attending a meet, and I plan to wear her. She is a snow leopard owl griffin, and she is the one I have an unboxing video up for right now. Um, she is a realistic resin head. Her mouth kind of moves, but not that much. I'm going to see if I can do anything about that. 
Um, wow, the light is getting weird. Her eyes have glitter in them. And I love her. She's awesome. She's very pretty. I'm not exactly sure what kind of personality she's going to have yet. As I haven't got to wear her and just see what happens. But yeah, she was made by Interabang, who I will put a link again in the description. So many links. It's going to be awesome. Um, yeah. Her tail is very large. Um, and I wasn't expecting it to be so large. I probably, yeah, I can't get it all on the camera. It's very curved. It's got spots and stuff. The ivory under fur. It's just a gorgeous tail. It doesn't, it gets, eh, it's pretty long. I'm pretty short. So it hangs pretty low and I love it. It's very swayy. It's, it's pretty heavy. So it has like a really, um, interesting sway to it. And I really like it. The hands, absolutely, absolutely love for the suit. Because, um, they're talents. And I'm, Kind of, it's going to be feel like it's going to get a require some getting used to. But there they are. They have the claws and everything. And that's all airbrushed. This is actually white fleece that she's airbrushed. And it's super awesome. And yes, I'm really excited to wear her this, this weekend. And hopefully my friend Winston will be getting some videos or pictures at least that I can post on my Fur Affinity. Um, my, my suit account, Dabloom, if you want to go look it up, I will put a link in the description again. Um, that's all I have to say about my three current suits that I have. I have some exciting news. Um, my persona, Opie on the Moth Bear, this full suit will be completed this month. I don't know if it's going to ship out by the end of this month or if it's going to ship at the beginning of next month. But it's being made by Menagerie Workshop, and I'll link their website. Um, I'm completely ecstatic, and I cannot wait for it to get here, I'm just, I'm just so excited about it. Um, my friend Winston, who I mentioned just a minute ago, when I get it, will hopefully be coming over with a better camera to film my unboxing video, and to just be like a little cameo. Um, so that's something to look forward to. So I'll hopefully have that video up within a few days of after actually getting it. And if any of you follow me on Fur Affinity, I'm obviously going to have pictures posted, like, as soon as I get it. It's not even funny. I'm so, I'm just that excited. Um, what I'm watching now are two, um, not completed persons, but ones that I plan to complete. I've had one of them for a while, and it's a resin base from Phazon Alloy on Fur Affinity. It's a big cat. I have a few other pieces for him as well. I think all of them are from... Phase on or sniper. Um, so that's something to look forward to. I don't know how soon I'll be able to get that done. He's gonna be a three-eyed psychic cat. Is the idea saber cat? Um, I don't know if I'll have the time or the money right now to finish him. I already have eyes, teeth, tongue, and paw pads. No, I don't. I thought I had paw pads. I don't have paw pads. Um, so that's what I have right now. These are going to be his eyes, I will show you. Um, maybe. These are going to be his main eyes. Can't, wow, my camera does not like those. They are white with like silver um, starbursts. Oh, there we go. A starburst in the middle, right there. And his third eye is going to be this large green cat eye. It's going to go in the middle of his forehead. It's going to be really awesome. I have some um, design work on my fur affinity if you want to go check it out. Um, he also is going to have fork tongue, which is awesome. But yeah, all that is from Phase on Alloy on fur affinity. And like I said, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get that done. Another suit uh, that I'm going to be working on, I'm going to be making for a friend of mine, Langer, who does not have a fur affinity. Um, his persona is a sloth, but I got this head base from Ally the Kitsune, I think is how it's pronounced, um, that I plan to make a really cool monster for him. And there it is. It's got chompy teeth and a big nose, because I love big noses. I don't know when I'll be able to complete this either, since I don't even have any designs done for it. I need to talk to him, and he's really bad about getting back to me about designs and things. Um, but yeah, 
I'll put a link to Ally Cook the Kitsune in the description as well. But that's just another thing you can look forward to. Because this thing is amazing, I love it. It's so adorable. That's really all I have to say um, right now. Uh, I've been slow on getting some art posted and everything, but I'm working on it. Because life updates and stuff, I guess, which probably no one cares about. But yeah, that's all I really gotta say. I hope everyone's having a nice day, nice week, nice year. And I hope everyone's happy. Being happy is good. I'm a lot happier than I have been in a long time. Um, so I guess that's all I got today. Thanks for watching my video, everyone. Bye.